The Tsing Pu Yang Zhao Retreat is an exemplary project that is not just a retreat hotel, but a miniature city. The jury appreciated the retreat's rigorous plan, a grid of brick walls that results in a series of carefully crafted urban streets and outdoor courtyards. Qingpu Yangzhou Retreat is an interesting project. It's a project that came to us uh, many years ago, uh, asking us to rethink uh, the notion of um, vernacular architecture and vernacular typologies. Uh, the client was interested in revitalizing a smaller historical site in China. It's an adaptive reuse project uh, that used um, sort of a ruined site. Um, where we had to reconsider what it means to be um, a wellness center um, since it's a it's a retreat um, and also uh, very much we think like what what it what it means to build on um, a site that's been used before uh, one thing that really uh, moved us were these uh, long pathways uh, of um, lanes and in Chinese they're called Guan Cai Xiang and when you get in and out of the walkways um, you kind of lose where you are and you feel like you're actually walking much longer than than you really are and I think that sense of um, you know getting lost in that pathway and then having to walk a long way to get to your room makes you feel like, oh, you know, you can really slow down and, and it's really serene and, it's, uh, it, and it goes very well with the wellness. Brick could be done horizontally, laid horizontally, could be laid vertically. So if you look closely at the site, actually there's about 24 different patterns and different, uh, close to 27 different um, perforation patterns. Uh, so when you walk, um, going to breakfast, heading to certain rooms, uh, it actually gives you different patterns. And during the day and during the night, it also gives you different kind of feeling, uh, precisely because of the texture and the pattern and the perforation of how the brick is done. Even though the bricks are old uh, and um, maybe you know ancient and traditional, uh, but we wanted to juxtapose that uh, aged look and also the, the feel of the past with the architectural language that is very modern. Yes. Um, and, and, and we feel you know, that contrast actually brings about an interesting and more a contemporary engagement with the past. 